This morning in our Saturday session, The National, the widely renowned band just released their seventh album yesterday, and many critics are calling it their best yet, and one of the best albums of the year. In a moment, they'll perform for you, but first, we spoke with the group at their home base in Hudson, New York. When did you start working on this? Uh, so, I moved up here three years ago. And, when um, guitarist Aaron Dessner bought an 18th century farmhouse in the Hudson Valley of New York for his family, he also uh, saw it as an oasis for his band, The National. And the idea was like, if we can get this done in six months, then the band can make a record here. An old barn was rebuilt into their new studio. And this is the album cover, basically. This is the album cover. In the Long Pond studio, the National recorded Sleep Well Beast, the latest album from brothers Aaron and Bryce Dessner, Brian and Scott Devendorf, and lead singer Matt Berninger. That's like the kitchen where all the ingredients got like thrown into the pot and cooked mm -hmm. and chopped up. We spent more time in the same room than we have since probably the beginning of the band. The National formed in 1999 five Cincinnati kids who came together in Brooklyn. Through seven albums, they've become one of indie rock's most successful bands. But in the four years since their last record, as their families have grown, they've scattered far and wide. You guys all live in different places now. California. Correct. Yeah. Long Island, New York. Cincinnati, Ohio. Paris, France. <laughs> and I live here except when I live in Copenhagen, Denmark. So. Yeah, you all have kids, you all live in different places, but you're all still connected. I feel like we're more connected now just due like the times that we have together are kind of more special and specialized. Like we're, you know, here to do a thing, but we're also here to like regroup. What did you want to do in here? Well, so the idea was... Uh, Their new studio, built from the wood of the old barn, looks out on the long pond. It's, I guess it's like a headquarters or a clubhouse or a, you know, uh, and, but people feel like they're on vacation kind of also, yeah. which is nice. It's the perfect environment. Uh -huh. Why is it the perfect environment? I've never been in a place this nice and this tranquil, honestly, but swimming in that pond and there's like red-winged blackbirds landing in the cattails, it's kind of ridiculous. And it's here the National now come to rediscover themselves. It can be exciting, but also frightening because you don't know you actually feel like maybe you'll never write a good song again or something or maybe the band will just sort of disintegrate I think our biggest fear as a band is like repeating ourselves and kind of this idea of like a semi-successful rock band that falls in love with its own image or its own shadow and like so we're kind of challenging that all the time and sort of mm -hmm. nothing sacred 